Today we're going to do a demonstration of a self-release on a scar. And this scar is due to having a partial palmar fasciectomy for a condition called Deputin's contracture. The surgery was done nine months ago. And purposely I haven't done any massage work other than what the occupational therapist did. As you can see, I don't have full extension of my little finger. This is what the finger looked like before the surgery. And this is where it is now. What we're gonna do through a series of treatments is to see if I can get that finger back to full extension and possibly to break up the scar tissue, make it softer and more pliable. Okay, so right now I'm going to start my treatment. So what I do first is just to warm up the tissues. I'm just going to do some compression on top of the scar. There are some points that are extremely painful still, and one of those points is right here at the metacarpal phalangeal joint. A little bit painful here, but nowhere else. Now I'm going to do some more specific work. The scar runs all the way along up into here. So I'm going to start here at the bottom of the scar. I'm going to push the scar to the side. And what I'm actually going to do is hook the scar and pull it to the other edge. You'll be able to see this better further up. I'm just going to push and pull on the scar. You'll be able to see it much better here. Again, I'm just trying to make the scar more pliable. Trying to make it pliable, flexible, so I can restore that full extension. Again, after nine months, this tissue is really fibrotic. This is kind of a test to see what we've all learned in massage school about scar release and to see if it actually works. This is the first major scar that I've had to work with over the years. I'm shortening up the time that we would actually hold these positions. I would normally do this for about two minutes for each section that I'm working. Now I'm going to go into another technique. Now I'm going to press directly on the scar. Previously I did the sides, pulled and pushed. Now I'm going to press directly onto the scar and move it in different directions. And whatever direction I feel pain, I'm gonna actually hold that position. I really don't need to do much here or down here. I'll friction those as we get to them. Right now I'm gonna work this major part that's fibrotic. So right now I'm gonna pull again, push again. If it's uncomfortable, I'm going to hold that position. Remember this area right here was the most fibrotic and it was the most painful also. So I'm actually going to hold this area probably for a full two minutes to see if we can get the pain to, to subside. The next technique that I'm going to use is circular friction on top of the scar. I'll spend more time on the areas that are the most fibrotic. which is right here at the joint. 
Then I'm going to cross fiber friction. Good thing is that I can do this myself. Obviously, you're only going to be able to do certain scars that you can reach easily. And this area right here at the um, metacarpal phalangeal joint. I'm going to friction this area because it's the most fibrotic for approximately five minutes. I want to actually see if it's true that I can create a little bit of therapeutic inflammation, which may jumpstart the healing process again. To see if it's possible to get any new tissue that's less fibrotic laid down into this area. I'm going to finish up with some lengthening type strokes over the scar. It is much less painful than it was before we started. I'm going to finish up the treatment with a stretch. I'm going to brace behind this proximal interphalangeal joint on the little finger so I can create more leverage on the end of the finger. We're going to give it a nice stretch for at least a minute. And we're going to look at our results to see if we have any increase in extension. So again, with my fingers more relaxed, there is a little bit more extension in the finger. And it's actually a little bit closer to the other fingers, has more adduction. So there definitely is an increase in extension in the finger. Most likely because we've made the tissue more pliable and stretched it out. Our next treatment will be in approximately 48 to 72 hours because we want to let that inflammation go away before we begin our next treatment. We're going to change up a little bit on our next treatment. I'm going to bring in a guest massage therapist, um, one of my coworkers to um, actually do the treatment. And we will continue the treatment two times per week for approximately three weeks and see what the end result is at that point. That concludes our scar release for the day for a partial palmar fasciectomy for Deputian's contracture.